So far, we've used for loops that have looped through a list where we've explicitly said which numbers we're interested in. So, for example, this list here. However, we can use a built-in function, range, that helps us create regularly spaced values rather than writing every number out. So let's just run this cell to see the help documentation for the range function. So the range function says range, and then it says self args and keyword args or quags. This isn't necessarily obvious, but if you look just down here, it explains what it means by these terms. So range can be called in two ways, with a single parameter, a number called stop, and this will go up to but not including the number stop. So for example, if stop was three, range would return the numbers zero, one, and two, but not three. But there's a second way we can call it, which we'll use lower down, where you can give it a start and a stop, and also an optional step. So if start was one and stop was three still, we would just get one and two, not zero and not three. And we can use the step to choose whether we step by one, which is the default, or if we give that a value of two, we could take, for example, every even number. That's all described in this text here, but we'll also show you how to do it in the next couple of exercises.